Hello, this is worldsbiggestpacman.com. It's a official site uh, of of Namco, Bandai, and Microsoft, uh, as well as a web developer. Um, this started apparently, according to Wikipedia, back in 2011, and it was, uh, I guess, it was kind of a, a marketing gimmick for. Uh, or Microsoft trying to show off how well their Internet Explorer browser ran HTML5 uh, stuff. So they made this big, huge monstrosity where people can... I think you need to do it through Facebook. You can somehow log in through Facebook and, uh, and make your own pack mazes that become part of this huge mosaic of interconnected pack mazes that are, I guess, all user-created, and they just go on forever and ever. So you can see these stats here on the upper right include uh, 602,821 uh, mazes have been created. And um, there's also these country stats, which the Netherlands seem to be dominating in a suspicious fashion. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Netherlands has a has quite a big lead at the moment in terms of, I think that's probably just total plays or something. Uh, that's kind of crazy. But anyway, uh, so this is just online. It's on this website. It's still maintained here uh, over 10 years later, and it's still running, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So it's basically 600,000, you know, user-created pack mazes that are sort of interconnected. You can kind of move from one to the other, except except when you can't, and that's a little confusing. Um, and, uh, and a lot of them are awful. <laughs> so what you do is you just... Uh, uh, Okay, and also, so this was a thing for Microsoft for Internet Explorer. I'm I'm currently running this in Google Chrome, in the Google Chrome browser, which seems to run it fine. I was trying to run it in um, Firefox, but in my Firefox, I don't know if it's because, well, I think my, um, my ad blockers were interfering with it partially. And then I like uh, uBlock Origin, because I installed uBlock Origin on, on Google Chrome here to try to block out some of the ads that this website is coded with because I didn't want to record them and that started causing some problems. So I'm basically like, there's an ad just off to the side here and there's ads all around and anyway, I'm sort of cutting them off in this tiny window. Um, but the play window itself on the browser is kind of tiny, which is not ideal. Uh, of course, you can zoom your browser window in, but it gets a little blurry. That the maze gets a little blurry that way, so it's not not great. But uh, well, um, so you you find a, a thumbnail that you want to play. You click on it, and I'm not I'm not going to log in with Facebook, so I just click play for fun. Then you get this tiny little view window on your browser. And then you play this maze that somebody made. It doesn't tell you who made it, I don't think. Uh, wow, they put a lot of power pellets in this one, though. I thought maybe they were limited. So, so you see this nonsense. All these people, so many of these mazes have, um, have these, you know, just awkward double height sections and you know, where you're just swimming around, and it's so... It's so gross to play. I don't know why anybody would do that. But most... Well, I don't know if most people do, but a heck of a lot of people put all these janky... just swimming around areas in their mazes. Like, I mean, look at this. It's just... Oh. And, um... Little... Partial height things like that. I mean, you can't. Oh. Especially the other factor that makes this worse is that the input is very delayed. There's definitely a delay on the input. It's not as bad for me here in Chrome as it was in Firefox. So maybe if I was playing in Internet Explorer, it wouldn't have any delay. I kind of doubt that though, and I don't want to run Internet Explorer. So I'll never know. Uh, 
Um, now I haven't, I've yet to actually complete anybody's individual maze, because you see, uh, well, let's see. Uh, see, the ghosts kind of get caught in the little, weird little awkward areas, too. Um, see, so here's a, here's an exit right here. Where if I went through that gap in the wall on the on the right, I would end up in somebody else's maze. And I'm not sure if the dots in this maze would then repopulate or not. Now the ghost gets stuck. Arr. I want to see if I... Oh no, that's a dead end. You gain a, a Pac-Man every 10,000 points, I think, no matter what. Go... The delayed input. The ghosts are in a little whirlwind there. Okay, this is gonna not be good. Here come the ghosts. Shoot. Oh! Go. Shit. Oh my gosh. Just the input delay combined with janky spaces is just hellacious. I mean, I know, excuses, excuses, but really. I did it. Now what happens? Oh, now I think I just exit. So this is somebody else's maze. I'm, but see, the awkward thing is, I think people can just put in whatever exits on whichever sides they want, so they may not... They may not have more exits, so you can easily run into dead ends. I think somebody just made this one to be easy. So now if I go back to one I completed, does it just say complete? Yeah, okay, it stays completed. That's interesting. It's kind of interesting. This gets kind of meta, I guess, you know? Uh, I don't know if it can track, like, high scores or something. This is going to be a tough stage. And, um, you know, other people can come and play the maze you played. There's a, there's a sharing, well, you can just see the URL up above, for instance. Ah, dang it. But you can also get a URL, a uh, little copy widget thing. Uh, it's somewhere over to the right, I think. I don't know. I'm playing in this tiny window. I don't want to see ads, and I want to have a clean capture. I'm gonna gonna get out of here. I think. Ah, oh, jeez. That guy was just waiting in ambush. I 
I was just kind of optimistically thinking he won't get out of there. And then he did. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that way. I gotta get out of here. So the, the, I think there's a problem in that you can, you can kind of run out of, uh, out of mazes to go to because they, there won't necessarily be exits. Uh, so like this one doesn't have any exits, right? So this is a big dead end. Also, I seem to be missing ghost sounds now. I thought I had some originally. The sounds tend to, uh, be a little problematic. At least they were in Firefox. Uh, the input is so delayed. Are you guys gonna... Mm. You also go, like, way faster than these poor ghosts. Oh, shoot. trying to do this maze. Except it doesn't always work, so okay. Uh, I think I was in that one. I don't really like that one. Oh, this looks bad. Oh my gosh! Oh no! I gotta get out of here. I'm not. I can't. I can't handle this. Uh, oh no! So wait, do the dots, yeah, the dots you ate stay eight. Oh, no power pellets, okay.
So the ghosts are just trapped in there, huh? And so are the fruit. Oh, those ghosts are trapped in there too. Well, heck. Jeez, somebody just made all these trap ghost mazes next to each other. I guess if I eat all these dots, it just wipes all the ghosts out, doesn't it? Yeah. Minecraft, okay. Oh, there's no power pellets. Yeah. There's another trapped ghost maze. I mean, you know, like, what's what's the point? Somebody's just doing some kind of modern art thing here. And then what do they just go tell people? Hey, go to... Negative 78, negative 33, and world's biggest Pac-Man made that weird little intersection. What if you get a bonus for completing a stage? Well, I have just over 10,000 points. If I, Yeah, you do. You get like 2,000 points or something. I guess you get some kind of, like, fruit bonus multiplied thing. And I'm fruiting up. I'm up to whatever that weird green one is. Dang it. But it's not like I'm eating ghosts here or eating fruit. Kind of a slow way to gain points, you know. Unless you just keep getting higher and higher multipliers. Oh my gosh. Cool. So I think if I went back to the map by clicking, there's a, well, I guess you can't see it. There's a home button off to the right that I can click to get back to the map, but I think that would uh, end of my, you know, my score. Okay, now we're back to something you, uh, of course it's got double height space areas. Partial, uh, the sort of half height turns and stuff. I mean, come on. There were, uh, I don't know, people have always, when, when you give people a chance to make their own pack mazes, one of the things people, oh my gosh, love doing. Actually, those are in, aren't there some of those in that weird, uh, one in, um, the latest Pac Man Museum? What is that one? Uh, that's, uh, there's a weird one, a weird official Pac-Man, and it's got an arcade game, and it's it's got a few later stages that have like sort of the the half um, half tunnel height turns and junctions, and it's just it's just gross. Oh. I mean, it's how you make the whole Pac-Man thing just fall apart. Become a very unpleasant game. Go, oh, that's not a three-hour item out of there. That sucked. Oh, this looks terrible, too. Oh, my gosh, no. Just death traps. Uh, that looks like a death trap as well. God. 
Well, I'm in a death trap zone. At least they stuck to even tunnels. Uh oh. A bell, heck. Didn't even know there was a bell. was actually sort of okay, but still, just the wide open spaces are not what Pac-Man should be. Just don't do it. Oh no. Oh no. Why did they leave that one space? Was that for fruit? Or what? Oh, I went through and it's that little glitch that can happen in Pac-Man. Just... Based on how the movement and collision detection works. No thanks. Oh no, it's the death trap zones. Go. Are they stuck in there? No, there's an exit in the lower right. This is weird. It just becomes this weird, yeah, like, meta thing. Like, okay, I can get some cheap points here until those ghosts get out. But, I mean, what are you doing this for? It becomes like this weird survival game. Strange stuff. God, these are so bad. And now we're on to the key. I mean, clearing out the inside of that thing would be real... Uh, real rough. So, uh, I would not recommend this over something like Random Pack. You're playing on this, you can't really tell maybe from the video, but you're <laughs> playing on this tiny little window. Oh, you start in there. Oh, that's the spawn point. Um, so I'm squinting at this, so I can't play this repeatedly. I'm gonna get an ice drain. Uh. Go. You, um, you have tremendous input delay, and you have to go through all these just terrible, terrible mazes. And the fruit hangs around for a long time. Him out of his misery. Oh wait, I went through that 
Oh, that, no, there was a gap. Oh my gosh. I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Oh my gosh, they're trapped in there. It's just a free point zone. Not to be confused with a three point zone. Maybe this is how the Netherlands got a Google Plus score. Just have a lot of very patient. Maybe they just have one very patient person with a time warp. It's kind of redundant, I suppose. Well, no, you would still need to be very patient. So yeah, uh, play Random Bag instead. Random Bag is cool. It's free. It's not officially licensed, I guess, but this is just officially licensed torture device. Or just a weird exercise in crowdsourcing and I don't know. I mean, somebody must have to weed out all the ones with, where people were spelling out bad words in dots, right? Imagine having that job. I guess that would be kind of a cushy job. I don't know why I'm not eating the power pellets. I kind of have to if I'm going to complete it. So in theory, as, as my fruit bonus grows, when I complete the stage, I'll get more, oops, more points. Can I imagine if people had just made good pack mazes instead of this nonsense? Well, you just have a a Pac-Man game with a lot of level variety and terrible input delay. Should still be interesting as long as it was free. So wait, did I get any? I thought I was already at seventy thousand. Maybe I got nothing for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember which way I came in either. Oh, it's another free zone. Uh oh, this is the same type of thing as that last one where you've just got a bottleneck around the ghost house. And then a bunch of junk outside it. And it seems fine, then the ghost will get out and then it'll just be horrifying. Except there are a lot of power pellets out here. Okay. 
I suppose I should go in there with a pellet and uh, get the key. to come back in there, so that was stupid. I mean, it's not like you're getting... This is not an efficient way to get points. And I'm not going to complete this stage. Get out of here. Minecraft again, with no power pellets. Oh shoot, I should have gone, I'm gonna, okay, I didn't die, I've been here. Oh my gosh. J.H. loves R.H. Very romantic. Back to Minecraft, no, um, yeah, oh, I missed the turn, <laughs> I didn't want to take that turn, oh no, stuck in this bad area. I mean, there's going to be a lot of bad areas. Let's see, so I was, yeah, Minecraft, that's good. Sigh. Uh, if I take a left here. No. Dark. These mazes are so janky. These are such terrible stages. 
Try to make an actual fun stage in any of these 600,000 ones. I guess I've done about 15 and the answer so far is no. Maybe pan around the map and try to find something that looks like a decent maze, because this is just horrible. Once you get over the sort of meta rush of look at me exploring weird user-created pack land. Jerk's just putting power pellets right inside the entrance, so you can't avoid eating it. just a dead end. Oh. Well, here I die. Oh no. Don't give me more packs. We have to end it. suck. People suck at designing pack mazes. Ow.
Uh oh. That wasn't great. I guess it works. Jeez. I guess somebody probably thought this was a pretty cool design or something, but... Not, not my favorite thing here. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I just leave? the other one too. Oh, now you're gonna go back. Oh, here comes the pink one. Okay, now I'm dead. Good job. trapped. I'm trapped in this area. It's just completely sucky mazes. going there's no exits over there anyway oh great somebody is having a big laugh at my expense
This gets weird. It's almost a maze, a decent maze. But not quite. It's oh go. No, it's not good. Like people either completely misunderstood pack mazes or they just enjoyed making torture chambers. I tend to be pessimistic and think that they just enjoyed making torture chambers because I don't know how you could actually look at this and think that you'd made a good Pac-Man level. Oh. Oh, this is another dead end. Sweet. empty areas that haven't been filled in. People have made like little roads. Not quite connecting areas. I guess they did. But that doesn't look like that goes anywhere. These levels look horrible. No. Oh, man. I mean, what is this? Is this just a placeholder? Pretty much looks like it. Ugh. The ghosts all start to chase. Oh, there's a poem. I don't think I want to read it. Kind of a maze. It's almost a Pac-Man level. Oh, 
Ah, they're too late. Uh, that was weird. See, but now you don't. So if I go home, I have 19,000 there. It marks it as completed, but it's not gonna like save my session, is it? Somehow with cookies or something? And see, yeah, my score got cleared out. So you have to travel through without being able to see where you're going if you wanna play a single session or a single a score run, anyway. Maybe people didn't want to do, you know, single tunnels because it's not really that fun with the extreme input delay anyway. So they figured, well... The input delay isn't fun to play with, so we'll just have to make a game that's interesting to play and not so much inhibited by actual uh, trying to be like pack gameplay, so we'll just do a bunch of horrible stuff that you, you can't really play normally anyway. And it'll all just be about this weird exploring different torture chambers thing. Think about this stuff. Uh, the half light tunnels, though. Fast enough. Well, 
they were both there. I was wondering where the other ghost was. Should have eaten that power pellet down there before. you wish they had put some limits on people in terms of like how many power pellets they can have or have to have. Don't let them do these sort of half height tunnels things. But I guess you would say, well, why limit creativity? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because some of these may... Oops. This is a horrible experience, Namco. If this was the only Pac-Man game I'd ever played, I would think Pac-Man was completely awful. And maybe, maybe that's what they're trying to tell me. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just thought I could run free. Uh-oh. Uh, mm. Oh, it's just so... It's hard to focus. It's like, why care? Either I'm gonna find... some okay mazes and I'll get a bunch of... back lives back, or I won't, and I'll just... die in slow... tortured... horrors. It's always going to be some kind of adventure. Oh, oh that's cr cruel. Sleep trying to. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing?
Not super smart if I wanted points. When's the orange gonna come out? Come on, orange. Do I have to pick up dots to get them to come out? No, oh, there he goes. So... Ah, oh, heck. Well, nah, uh, that was a... That was a goof up. Let's just say... These mazes are halfway decent. Oh no. Curious. I'm gonna go to Microsoft Edge. So wait, this was designed for Internet Explorer, not, micro, not Microsoft Edge. Well, so you won't be able to see this. Uh, worlds. Oh, good pop-ups. Download Microsoft Edge mobile app. Yeah, that's what I want to do. World's biggest. Pacman.com. Uh, two billion dots eaten. Thank you. Fascinating. So I just want to, uh, can you see this? No. What if I... Okay. Well, it's kind of tiny. Um, I guess I could... No, we're getting ads. No, I'm ruining everything. Heck. Ew. Uh, there's still a lot of input delay, maybe slightly less. Yeah, probably slightly less. But it's still way more than you would have if you were actually playing like a... a real game. <laughs> Ooh, 
But it is better than Chrome. Barf. Okay, well, that's nice. So, uh... So, yeah. Um... I think that's probably enough of that. How did I... How did I do this so that ad wasn't showing? The scaling, like, worked. Oh, no, I made it wider. That's what it was. I don't know. Well, nuts. Um... Yeah, so, uh... Boy. It's just little arterials of placeholder stages people put in so they could run a highway out to a little cluster of stuff. Jeez. Too bad there's no zoom feature. There's a big old chunk of stuff. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? Um, uh, cool. Well, uh, so that's the world's biggest Pac-Man. It's pretty big and um, kind of awful. And I guess it really, well, nah, it's probably about the same delay actually between Chrome and Edge. Yeah, it's probably about the same. But, uh, didn't work so great for me in Firefox. Which is at least partially due to the uBlock Origin Ad Blocker, but, um, probably, probably some other stuff too, I don't know. How to take a all-time classic game and make it into something capable of obsessing, keeping people obsessively, I don't know, doing whatever this is. It's not really playing, it's just, uh, uh, what have we wrought? It's weird. Like, uh, if it actually had, like, not incredible input delay, that would be pretty sweet. But it would still be a lot of really bad mazes. Like, this one is one of the better ones. But it's, you know, I don't know. It makes me want to go play regular Pac-Man, I guess. Or, or random Pac. Um, so, yeah, game over. World's biggest Pac-Man... Hey. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I probably won't play this again. Yeah.